Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I congratulate each and every one of you for making this one of the greatest years in the history of the Nakatomi Corporation. On behalf of our president, Mr. Ozu, and the board of directors, we thank all of you and wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Alright man, so your lady sees you, you run into each other's arms, the music comes up and you live happily ever after, right? I could live with that. So if this don't work out man, you got a place to stay? I'll find a place. Alright, I tell you what, I'm gonna pull into the parking garage and wait. If you score, you hit me up on my car phone, and then I'll take your bags to the desk. You strike out, I'll get you to a hotel. You're all right, Argyle. Just remember that when you sign for the tip. Hey, good evening. I'm here to see Holly McLean. Just type it in there. I don't see Holly. She must have used her maiden name, Gennaro. 30th floor. Well, that's the party. They're the only ones left in the building. Why don't you take the express elevator? Get off when you hear the noise. Thanks. How do you do? Hi, I'm looking for Holly Gennaro. Ah, you must be John McLean. I'm Joe Takagi. How was your ride in? Good. Thanks for sending the car. Seemed the least we could do. So where can I find Holly? Holly went to the vault to fax some documents, but she'll be back momentarily. Her office is just back here. Come with me. Ellis? Ellis, I want you to meet John McLean, Holly's husband. He's a policeman. Ellis is in charge of international development. Heard a heck of a lot about you. Can I get you anything? Food? Cake? <laughs> Some watered down champagne? Uh, I'll pass, thanks. John! I was hoping you made that flight. Hi, honey. Is there a place I can wash up? Sure. was that? Did I just hear something? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Due to the Nakatomi Corporation's legacy of greed around the globe, it is about to be taught a lesson in the real use of power. You will be witnesses. Now, where is Mr. Takagi, the man who used to be in charge here? Born Kyoto, 1937. Family emigrated to San Pedro, California. 1939, interned Mansonar, 1942 to 43, scholarship student, University of California, 1955, law degree, Stanford, 1962, MBA, Harvard, 1970, President, Nakatomi Trading, Vice Chairman, Nakatomi Investment Group. Enough! and father of five. I am Takagi. 
It's a pleasure to meet you. I don't have the code. You broke in here to access our computer? Any information you get, when they wake up in Tokyo in the morning, they'll change it. You won't be able to blackmail our executives, threaten our pro... Sit. Down. Mr. Takagi. I'm really not interested in your computer. But I need the code key because I am interested in the $640 million in negotiable bearer bonds that you have locked in your vault. And the computer controls the vault. You want money? What kind of terrorists are you? Who said we were terrorists? I assume you realize that the bonds represent at most 10 days operating capital for your parent organization, making this nothing more and a temporary setback. Now, the code, please. It's useless to you. There are seven safeguards on our vault, and the code key is only one of them. You'll never get it open. Then there's no reason not to tell it to us. That's a very nice suit, Mr. Takagi. It would be a shame to ruin it. I'm going to count to three there will not be a four. Give me the code. One. Two. Three. I don't know it, I'm telling you. Get on a jet to Tokyo and ask the chairman. You're just going to have to kill me. Okay. Why didn't you stop them, John? Because then you'd be dead too. Think, damn it, think! A fire alarm. <laughs> come on, baby, come on, baby, come to Papa. I'll kiss your fucking Dalmatian. There's no way a security guard could get past us. Yeah, you're probably right. Whoever it is... The fire has been called off, my friend. No one is coming to help you. You might as well come out and join the others. I promise I won't hurt you. You think you can get me that easy?
CB radio. I can call for help with this. I should get up to the roof so I have a better signal. I could have used his shoes. Nine million terrorists in the world, and I gotta kill one with feet smaller than my sister. I wanted this to be professional, efficient, adult, cooperative, not a lot to ask. Alas, your Mr. Takagi did not see it that way, so he is no longer among the living. <gasps> We're prepared to go anywhere you make us. When we've achieved our aim, you can walk out of here or be carried out. Decide now, each of you. But remember, we've planned everything to the last detail. We are completely in charge. Now, I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. A security guard we missed? Security guard? They usually tired out old policemen growing fat on a pension. This is something else. Ich bin auf dem Dreibig Drittensboden. Kommen Sie sofort. Hans, we have to do something. Yes, we do. We have to tell Karl his brother is dead. Tell him to come down. Karl, come down here. Franco, you and Fritz take the body upstairs and out of sight. I don't want the hostages to think anything. He's mine! Now! You'll have it. But let Heinrich plant the detonators and Theo prepare the vault. After we call the police, they'll waste hours trying to negotiate, and then you can tear the building apart looking for this man. But until then, we do not alter the plan. And if he alters it? What do you think? Cops? No, John. Your husband? What does he think he's doing? His job. His job is 3,000 miles away. Without him, they might let us go. Tell that to Takagi. Almost done. The charges will disable all the elevators except for the service elevator. Make it quick. Hans wanted this done already. some wire cutters. rest of the bombs. I'll have to find another way. I don't have much time. I'd better get back to those bombs. Hmm. Hmm. I need to get back to the rest of the bombs.
Mayday! Mayday! Anyone copying? I'm on Channel 9. Terrorists have seized the Nakatomi building and are holding at least 30 people hostage. I repeat, unknown number of terrorists, at least six or more armed with automatic weapons at Nakatomi Plaza in Century City. Somebody answer me! Attention. This channel is reserved for emergency calls only. No kidding, lady. Do I sound like I'm ordering a pizza? They've already killed one hostage. They are fortifying their positions while you're jerking my chain on a radio. Now send a police backup ASAP. Sir, this is a reserved channel. If this is an emergency call, dial 911 on your telephone. This is an FCC violation. Fine. Report me. Come down here and arrest me. Just send the police now. They'll be here soon. Locked. It's unlocked. Feel like a Christmas tree.
Bingo. This is 8 Lincoln 30. Come on in, over. Investigate a code 2 at Nakatomi Plaza, Century City. 8 Lincoln 30 to dispatch. I'm on my way. A medical kit. It's locked. Strong. the main elevator. to the coast. We'll get together, have a few laughs. Now I know what a TV dinner feels like. I should be able to make it through this if I can keep quiet. It 
It's locked. Locked. A medical kit. Shoot him! Need to get that cop's attention before he leaves. Maybe I. I wonder. Automatic rifle fire in Uncle Tommy. I need backup assistance now. Now, goddammit, now. Hello there. I told all of you I want radio silence until further notice. Since I waxed Tony and Marco and his friend here, I figured you and Carl and Franco might be a little lonely, so I wanted to give you a call. Who are you then? There's a the fly in the ointment, Hans, a monkey in the wrench, a pain in the ass. Yeah, I'm still here, unless you want to open the front door for me. I'm afraid not. But you have me at a loss. You know my name, but who are you? Just another American who saw too many movies as a child? Another orphan of a bankrupt culture who thinks he's John Wayne, Rambo, Marshall Dillon? I was always kind of partial to Roy Rogers, actually. I really like those sequin shirts. Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? yippee ki -yay, motherfucker. Hey! Anyone? Anyone out there? Argyle? Argyle, stay off the line and stay where you are. Do you copy? Hey, what's up out there? I'm locked in the garage. I need help. This is Sergeant Al Powell of the Los Angeles Police Department. If the person who radioed for help on this channel can hear me, acknowledge this transmission. I say again! I read you, pal. You the guy in the car? What's left of him? Can you identify yourself? Look, this is a party line and the neighbors got itchy trigger fingers. Here's the deal. You got 30 or so hostages on the 30th floor. The leader's name is Hans. There's a freaking arsenal in here! They got assault rifles and enough plastic explosives to level Los Angeles. They're down by one, including the skydiver you just met. Mostly European, judging by their clothing labels and cigarettes. They're well-financed and very slick. They got all the moves down pat. How do you know all this? 
I've seen enough phony IDs in my time to recognize that these cost a fortune. They're professionals. I hear you. LA's finest are on it. So light him if you got him. So what do I call you? Call me... Roy. Well, listen up, Roy. If you think of anything else you think we need to know, don't be shy, okay? In the meantime, I want you to find a safe place to hold up and let us do our job, understand? Locked. Forget the visual, I know who's in there. Roy, I need you to stay off the line. Listen to me, I know who's down there, you gotta help him out. Roy, we can't risk an approach with all the gunfire going off. Can you find out what's going on in there? A the car's been sighted and there's, and there's automatic fire. Already on my way. The power is out. I need to find a way to turn this on. Maybe there's a few... This must open that code lock that I saw on the utility room door.
Time. Move that car into the loading dock. It'll be out of sight. All right, get the door. What's going on, McClan? Who are those punks? Terrorists. They've taken hostages, but I managed to slip out. They know I'm around, though, and they're trying to hunt me down. Damn! Couriers? I hope they're not wandering around in there. Man, the door in here is locked, too. How the heck are we getting out of here? We're not. You're gonna wait here and stay out of sight. And what are you gonna do? Go back up there. <laughs> Yo, you got a death wish, McClane? My wife is up there. Can't argue with that, man. has been secured, and a couple of clowns in here trying to trash my ride home. The hostage is out of danger for now. Good work. But listen, Roy. We can't have you playing the hero. You were just supposed to observe. You do what you have to to survive, but don't go pulling some Green Beret shit.
6 tomorrow, there's this nature documentary I want to watch. <laughs> yeah, I doubt it. Stupid tent jobs. Still, it pays the rent. So hey, what did you used to do before you became a terrorist? Uh, I was an efficiency expert. And you? Post office clerk. Oh, really? Yeah, you know, I got sick of it one day. You know how it goes. Yeah. So, uh, what's in the bag? Cold bratwurst. Have you heard of this game, football? Yeah. They call the ball a pigskin. <laughs> I wonder if they pull it off their own hides. <laughs> Who's at the door? the door. We'll smoke him out. Here you go. Terrorist movement, Southside Nakatomi. How? We'll call your SWAT guys off. You're shooting at everyone in sight, including me. Run. Get the hell out of there. Call you guys off, or I'll start returning fire. You return fire at them, and you know as well as I do, you won't make it. Locked. It's locked. Code will unlock that. 
that code lock door. I made it out of there, but your boys seem to be having a pretty rough time of it. You one lucky cowpoke. Hey, stay clear of those SWAT boys. They tend to be a little too quick on the trigger. No kidding. You got a lot of wounded in there, pal. I hear you. We'll get some paramedics in there ASAP. You just get your ass out of harm's way unless you want to find yourself laid out right next to them.
Say again, base. Did not copy.
It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Roy, you there? Listen, we just spotted some activity up on what looks to be the 21st floor. We got snipers trying to draw a bead right now, but we have no idea who's up there. We need you to go up there and check it out. I'm on my way. What are we going to tell Hans? We tell him nothing. Now let's go to the sub-basement before more of them make their way up here. They're all dead! Stupid police. Yeah, stupid police. It's locked. Locked. All units be advised. Receiving heavy machine gun fire from the fourth wall. Outside. In here. Keep your heads in down. Here. Come out where I can see you.
back and Oh my god, please, please don't shoot me. I'm not here to rob you. My name's John McClane. I'm a cop. There are terrorists everywhere. What are we gonna do? Come with me if you want to stay alive. Stay quiet. There are terrorists all over this floor. Do you know a way off this floor other than the stairwell? Well, I have the keys to the office on the far side of the floor. There's a window washing rig hanging outside of it. Have you seen any of these silly American sports on television? Yeah, I saw some of those men in tights and the big shoulder pads. Is that uh, the football? Yeah, they never played the game. They took so many commercials. Some things are just too Western for my taste. Me too. <laughs> says that the action is on the 20th floor, not the 21st floor. Can you get there? I'll just stay here and wait. Locked. It's locked.
Ugh, locked. Ugh, locked. I'll just stay here and wait. Stay here. I'll send help up to get you as soon as possible. Oh, I'll hide in that cabinet. Hurry up. Funny. Take comfort in the fact that our sniper teams know what you look like now. Ugh, locked. It's locked. There's someone in here. They came in the window from the washing room. Yeah, it's Mike. I'm from Forced Architecture. I checked into the desk at 8 o'clock and told you I'd be working late tonight. To the 20th floor. Yes, I I'll hold, but hurry. Hello! He's in here now. He's in my office. Take what you want. Don't hurt me. I don't have any money. I'm not here to rob you. My name's John McLean. I'm a cop. <laughs> oh, man. You scared the hell out of me. Uh, I'm gonna call the security desk back and let them know it was a false alarm. Don't bother. What? What do you mean? Terrorists have taken everyone in the building hostage, but I managed to escape. They know I'm around somewhere and they're trying to hunt me down. Oh my god. What are we gonna do? First, we're gonna get the hell out of here. What are they gonna do if they catch us? I don't intend to be around long enough to find out. Let's get the hell out of here. They're trying to kill me!
It's open. There's an elevator car right below us. I, I can't. Oh! Watch out! Something wrong with this elevator. Please don't. Whoa! Pal, you out there? How many lives you got, man? Started with nine. Must be running low by now. I got some bad news. A guy I found, the architect, he didn't make it. You did what you could. What happened? He was standing on an elevator with no cables when the brakes gave out. Listen, you've got to get yourself out of harm's way. Go find some place on the floor you know is safe and rest for a bit or something. Yeah. I'll do you a favor. And not broadcast it to the world, but our spotters can see the perfect place for you to hide out. It's dark, empty, and up high away from where you are now. Looks like a lot of computers in there, too. You know the place? I'll find it. Gerhard, is that you? Your share of the money. I'm going to buy me a new car. Not one of those cheap Americans. Ferrari, or Porsche. Ah, that's good. You like the speed, Michael, eh? Yeah, what about you? I'm going to open up my own coffee shop. <laughs> I'll set it right up on the beach in Santiago, where the senoritas are fine and the sun is warm. <laughs> <laughs> Locked.
Have they got to the 33rd floor yet? Were they able to find the detonators? <laughs> He's in the vents! You motherfucker, you made your point, now let him pull back! Thank you, Mr. Cowboy, I'll take it under advisement. Hit it again. Roy, those bastards on the second floor are blowing our boys to shit. Can you stop them somehow? What can I do, man? I'm sure not going down there. What about that C4 you said was around? Drop it on him or something. Drop it on him? How the hell am I gonna do that? Drop it down the elevator shaft! Locked. Ugh. Locked. Geronimo, motherfucker! Let's see you take this under advisement.
Everyone that can respond, get to the 23rd yeah. floor. Come here! there? I'm here, Roy. How many kids you got, Al? Well, as a matter of fact, my wife is working on our first. How about you, cowboy? Any kids back on the ranch? Yeah, two. Meet me at the playground? It's a date, but you're gonna have to bring the ice cream. <laughs> Touch it, cowboy. Touch it. Or should I call you Mr. McLean? Mr. Officer John McLean of the New York Police Department. Sister Teresa called me Mr. McLean in the third grade. My friends call me John, and you're neither. I have somebody here who wants to talk to you. A very special friend who was with you at the party tonight. Hey, John boy. Ellis? Yeah, it's Ellis. Now listen, John. They're giving me a few minutes to try to talk some sense into you. I know you think you're doing your job, John, and I can appreciate that, but you're just dragging this thing out. Now look, nobody gets out of here until these guys can talk to the L.A. police, and that just ain't gonna happen until you stop messing up the works. Ellis, what have you told them? I told them we were old friends and that you were my guest at the party. Ellis, you shouldn't be doing this. Tell me about it. They want you to tell them where the detonators are. They know people are listening, they want the detonators, or they're gonna kill me. Ellis, I can't do that. John, I think you could get with the program a little, huh? The police are here now. It's their problem. Now tell these guys where the detonators are so no one else gets hurt. I'm putting my life on the line for you now, pal. Ellis, listen to me very carefully. John, they have hostages. They're willing to kill all of them and me if you don't give them what they want. Shut up, Ellis. Put Hans back on the line. Hans, this idiot doesn't know what kind of man you are, but I do. Now listen to me. Good, then you'll give us what we want and save your friend's life. You're not part of this equation, it's time you realize that. Hey, what am I, a method actor? Hans, babe, put away the gun. This is radio, not television. Hans, he's not my friend, I just met him tonight. Ellis, these people are going to kill you, tell him you don't know me. John, how can you say that after all these years? Sorry, Ellis, I tried. John! John! John? Do you hear that? Talk to me. Where are my detonators? Where are they? Or shall I shoot another one? Sooner or later I might get to someone you do care about. Go fuck yourself, Hans. In position. Heading in. Who the hell are you? You better come up with some answers or else. You have three seconds to tell us who you are. Hey, hey, I'm the good guy. It's okay, guys. This is Roy. Uh, the police mentioned something about him being up here. You know your way around. You show us the way and let us do the rest. Uh, yeah, sure thing.
It's locked. Attention police. Attention police. This is Sergeant Al Powell. Give me that. This is Deputy Chief Robinson. Who is this? This is Hans Gruber. I assume you realize the futility of direct action against me. We have no wish for further loss of life. What is it you do wish for, Mr. Gruber? I have comrades in arms around the world languishing in prison. The American State Department enjoys rattling its saber for its own ends. Now it can rattle it for me. The following people are to be released from their captors. In Northern Ireland, the seven members of the new Provo Front. In Canada, the five imprisoned leaders of Liberté du Québec. In Sri Lanka, the nine members of the Asian Dawn Movement. When these revolutionary brothers and sisters are free, the hostages in this building will be taken to the roof and they will accompany us in helicopters to the Los Angeles International Airport where they will be given further instructions. You have two hours to comply. Two hours? Sir, I wish I was authorized to do that, but... Hello? Mr. Gruber? Sir? Sir? Yeah. The FBI is here. The FBI is here? Now? Yes, sir. Right over there. Hold this. You want a breath mint? Hi, pleased to meet you. I'm Agent Johnson. This is Special Agent Johnson. How are you? No relation. I'm Dwayne Robinson, LAPD. I'm in charge here. Not anymore. Uh, no problem. Uh, you'll have the LAPD's full support. Thank you. Let's start with a debriefing. Well, the best we can figure is we've got maybe 30 or 35 hostages on the 30th floor with seven, maybe eight terrorists. Sounds like an A7 scenario. Thank you. We'll handle it from here. When we need to commandeer your men, we'll try and let you know. Aren't you forgetting something? Such as? What about John McClain? He's the reason why we have the information we have up until now. He's also the reason why you're facing less terrorists now than you would have been an hour or two ago. He's inside? Who is he? Well, he may be a cop, and we're checking on that. One of yours? Uh, no, sir.
blocked. stay alive. Pal, I've secured another hostage. I'm taking him someplace safer for now. I hear you, but be careful, John. You're responsible for that hostage's safety. So, you don't work for Nakatomi, and if you're not one of them... I'm a cop from New York. New York? Yeah, I got invited to the Christmas party by mistake. <laughs> I'm John McClain. You are? Clay. Bill Clay. You know how to use a handgun, Bill? I spent a weekend at a combat ranch. You know that game with the guns that shoot red paint? Probably seems kind of stupid to you. Well, it's time for the real thing, Bill. All you gotta do is pull the trigger. Come on. Ich bin auf dem Dreibig Drittens Boden. Kommen Sie sofort. Put down the gun and give me my detonators. Bill, you speak German? Put it down. Now. Pretty tricky with that accent. You ought to be on TV with that accent. But what do you want with the detonators, Hans? I already used all the explosives. Or did I? I'm going to count to three. Like you did with Takagi? Oops. No bullets. You think I'm fucking stupid, Hans? You were saying?
That hurt. I'm dying. We're back in business. We recovered the detonators, but be advised that our friend is still alive and somewhere in the building. Hans, we found a trail of blood. You must have got him good. Then follow the blood and finish him off. Gotta find some bandages for my feet. All right, those are the city engineers. They're going into the street circuits. And those guys in the suits, I don't know who they are. That's the FBI. They're ordering the others to cut the building's power. Regular as clockwork. Or a time lock. Precisely. The circuits that cannot be cut are cut automatically in response to a terrorist incident. You asked for miracles, Theo. I give you the FBI. We need the building shut down. You can't do it from down here. It's gotta be done from downtown. They have to take out a whole city grid. You're talking 10 square blocks. Johnson, that's crazy. It's Christmas. There's thousands of people. We can't... I need authorization. Authorization? How about the United States government? Lose the grid, or you'll lose your job. I wish to talk to the FBI. This is Special Agent Johnson of the FBI. The State Department has arranged for the return of your comrades. Helicopters are en route, as you requested. I hear you. We'll be ready. When they touch down, we'll blow the roof. They'll spend a month sifting through the rubble, and by the time they figure out what went wrong, we'll be sitting on a beach, earning 20%. Did I ever mention I hate the dark? Those feds just aren't human. Do what you can to get the lights back on. Tell them I'm up here and as blind as a bat. Well, at least if those goons can't see you, they can't kill you. Maybe you should be hoping it stays off, you know? We're taking Mr. Ozu, Nakatomi's president, to the research and development floor, where there's an independent power supply. I'll call and tell you where to go to turn the emergency power back on. Power? You hear that? Yeah. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna check it out. He's in here! <laughs> it's locked.
locked. What's going on? I'm trying to save this hostage and not get killed in the process. Okay, be careful, McLean. I'm gonna keep quiet for a while. Don't want to give away your position. It's McLean! Kill him! Kill them both! Maybe I missed something. Maybe I missed something. Maybe I missed something. Who are you? My name's McLean. I'm a cop. You have no idea how happy I am to see you. After what they did to Joe, I thought I'd be dead. My name is Ozu. I am the president of Nakatomi Corporation. They wanted me to turn the power back on. Evidently, they couldn't find the unmarked door down there in the dark. They're trying to get the power turned back on? Tell me where they're going. The sub-basement next to the phone room. That's the building's main power room. The power backup is handled through there. They won't be able to get the main power back online if it's been shut down by the power company, but they can reset the breakers for the backup. To get to the power room, you'll have to take the stairs down to the basement and then find the maintenance access to the sub-basement, all with no rights. Even with all the power off, the ventilation systems and the other bits of machinery will continue to function off of their own backup systems. Don't kill me!
locked. Ugh, locked. In here! Locked. Check this out.
listen to me, it's a double cross. The whole roof of the building is wired to blow the moment those helicopters touch down. We are both professionals, but this is personal. John? John! You killed my only family. For this, you will die. Mess. God, please don't let me die.
locked. It's locked. Fucking robbery? Still the cowboy, Mr. McLean. Are Americans all alike? Well, this time, John Wayne does not walk off into the sunset with Grace Kelly. You'd have made a pretty good cowboy yourself, Hans. What was it you said to me before? Yippee ki -yay.
John McLean, I presume. Pleasure to meet you, partner. Al, this is my wife, Holly. Holly Gennaro. Holly McLean. Hello, Holly. Got yourself a good man. Take good care of him. This one's with me. Well, well, well. Merry Christmas, Argyle. <laughs> man, if this is their idea of Christmas, I gotta be here for New Year's. 